Mighty Rock Show with Nicky Clifford. Oh, Rob. Marcos Leal, what a legend. He is a legend. An absolute legend. Oh, yes. And talking of legends, we are joined live by Cetra Kane. Hi there. Hello. 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 So we are doing a Vile Fest special. And Cetra Kane, how excited are you? We are. It is very special already. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah, definitely. So, um, can you t- can you give me a bit of the backdrop to your band? We are joined by Rob Sutton as well. Hello, hi Rob, <laughs> hi Nikki. Um, so I'm Jimmy. I'm the guitarist for Setra Kane. Um, so we started way back in 2016 with a completely different lineup to what you see, what you know now. Mm-hmm. Um, we wanted to play a bunch of new metal tunes. We did two gigs, then uh, it dissolved shortly after. Uh, got back together towards the end of 2018, um, early 2019, then COVID happened. Uh, we managed to squeeze in a gig towards the end of 2019 with uh, our old vocalist, Jamie. And um, unfortunately, um, we parted ways. Um, I think it was May or June when we found Andrew. And uh, yeah, we've just sort of cracked on from there, really. Um doing our own thing amazing and you guys are from buxton uh well f- three of our members mm-hmm. ryan the drummer sam the bassist lewis the uh guitar player all live in buxton um i live over in matlock so we're very much derbyshire based andrew's over in rotherham ah the lone the lone wolf over there in rotherham <laughs> there's not much of a scene <laughs> that's there right in buxton because i'll be honest i've not i've never seen a, a gig there is there any Anything going on there at the moment? Well, it's quite funny you say that. We've actually started. Uh, <laughs> we've actually shameless started plug. Putting, shameless plug. We've actually started putting on um, heavy metal nights over at the uh, London Road in Buxton. Wow! Oh, well, there we um, go. Uh, shout out to Tom, the landlord, for allowing us to do it. It's uh, it's been excellent so far. It's fun. So you it's know, you nice know what next question is? Have you got any gigs lined up there? Oh, sorry. Have you got any uh, gigs lined up in uh, in Buxton then? We certainly do. We've got one on the 27th of August, which is a fair way away yet, and uh, another one on the 26th of November there. Ah, oh, very nice. Which very we're nice. very much looking forward to. So, so basically there's plenty of time to recover after Bloodstock. You've played just about everywhere, haven't you? <laughs> um, well, we've done Sheffield, Rotherham. Uh, we haven't done a Manchester one yet. So at Oldham... That's uh, it's going to be a first for us. Yeah, it's done that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. lads, how did you how did you get the gig with Hounds? Um, so I've known uh, Jay and Jane from the O One Six One Manchester Underground Metal Community for oh years now. Yeah, like back in the blooming uh, retro bar days before before it was uh, before it reopened. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just used to hop on the train from Buxton and just go to metal gigs. Made a load of friends over there. And, uh, yeah, it just sort of started from there, really. Then uh, found out they were putting on their own gigs. And, um, yeah, just went from there. Yeah. And the calibre of bands playing at Vile Fest, it, it's oh, absolutely phenomenal. We've just listened. Is. Yeah, we've just listened to Break What's Broken, one of my favourite nice. tracks off the Vile album featuring Marcos Leal. Are you, are you having pinch me moments to know that you're going to be sharing the, the same stage as Ash and, and the, the lads from Hounds? It's, yes. it's humbling, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to play. So we 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 we've, we've got so many interviews to pack in tonight. We're going to get a full <laughs> flavour of the day, and I do want to tra- talk about your track Bowline. It's your Ooh. latest track, and um, you've been described as blending melodic and growling vocals over dirty, hypnotic, and head banging, <laughs> inducing middle sections. Such came bring wow. a quirky, frantic, and emotionally charged taint to a more aggressive genre. Tell me about Bowline. Yeah, Bowline's an interesting one. Um, so Ryan actually only put that as a working title for the track. So he'd been listening to a lot of Slipknot to try and get his drumming chops up. 
because uh, you know they, they don't like to keep it simple uh-huh. so fair play um yeah and he was thinking of other kinds but i didn't know that it was a working title this was just before i joined the band um and so i had the title for it and took that as a lyrical theme um and i don't know if anyone knows what a bowline is but it's a non-slipping loop at the end of a rope and it got me thinking of a paradox between like a safety measure can end up trapping somebody like sailors lashing themselves to the mast only to go down with the ship when it sinks um so it kind of plays on that um juxtaposition and um yeah it's uh, it, it likes to it's, it tells a bit of a story to be honest i've always liked tracks that are theatrical and that that um you know have uh, have a story to tell keep their listeners engaged like a monomath of their um tales of you know viking legend and uh and the the stories of the verse edda and so on but uh yeah, so that, that's where that came from. Wow, that was a, a full and, and frank explanation there. You're smashing this interview, Malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> <Lads, You're too laughs> <kind. laughs> before we play the track, um, now you are going on to bigger and better things and playing the bigger stages and getting your name out there on Radio Northwich cool. and the like. Is there other plans <laughs> to get some merch? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, we've got our logo shirts. With They're currently travelling... Uh, they live in the back of my car at the moment, just oh, really? in case we get a last-minute venue, uh, a last-minute gig. Um, but yes, uh, we're keeping it cheap and, cheap and cheerful for the moment. But Sam, our bassist, credit to him, is quite an artistic gentleman. So uh, he's working on some new designs where hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, uh, interesting prints and some of the cover art that we've used for uh, some of the tracks that we've recorded and some that we will be recording uh, in a couple of weeks' time, isn't it, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's going to be here before we know it so yes there'll be more merch in future amazing lads you've been absolute legends thank you so much for hanging out with us cheers very oh, much it's been very our much pleasure and you. looking you forward to seeing you on saturday yeah, cheers. Cheers. looking forward to it broadcasting around the world on the world wide web this is radio northwich your town your music Hell is empty, and all the devils 